So this is all glacial, fluvial, uh, alluvial deposits in this valley. Now layers of sediment, so glacial sediments and uh, river channel fluctuation sediments over the eons. You got some holes over here. Uh, looks like an old burrow there and one here I think I saw. Let's see. There's one. There's another one there. So we'll go have a look in those holes. That looks like that looks like Latridectus habitat to me. So we'll go have a look. Okay, this is pretty special here. We have multiple widows. We have a matriarchal female down in the hole. Then we have a younger or smaller adult female here. And then it looks like a juvenile. So I got to be very careful here that I do not disturb them. I don't want to vibrate anything. Okay, the, the larger female has darted. Sorry about that. But here is a younger or smaller adult female. And then right to the side here, look at this. This is a juvenile, or maybe that is a male, but I can't really. I'm kind of back away from the camera here, so I can't really see that if that's a male or not. I'll have to look when I, when I get back back to the truck I'll take a look and see what that is but there's a smaller adult female this is either a juvenile or a male I can't really see the pedipalps from here I'm holding the phone camera way far away from myself so I can't really see what I'm looking at so obviously this turned out to be a male uh, as you can see the bulbs on the pedipalps uh, now these are very large this is a springtime phenotype and so they are very large males uh as you can see pretty close to the same size as the females uh, just a little smaller abdomen um, which can throw you off and why you can assume they are a juvenile female now uh, now this springtime phenotype male is very large because they overwinter um, overwinter and develop very slowly um, and then down inside was that matriarchal female i'll I'll wait a while and see if I can get better footage of her here. If I'm patient, she'll come back out, so. So, I did wait a while. Uh, and then she did come out, so I got some more footage here. Um, but those, those, those uh, springtime phenotype, they're very large. And that's because they overwinter and they can develop slowly. They're born in the late summer or, uh, or autumn of the year before. There you see the female. Look at him in the background on the rock. You notice how he is just as big as her, and he's in the background, so uh, you can get an idea of how big he is. Uh, and then down in here, this is this is the matriarchal female. She's just a bit larger. She's, uh, you know, full size, what you would assume the black widow should be. Um, she's probably been there for uh, more than one year. Um, in this this burrow or hide and so this Latrodectus hesperus the they are they like to share uh, their hides their openings um, just a trait that they have you will often see multiple widows in one hole um, even throughout the summertime, it's early, it's, it's almost May. Um, and so, you know, it's common in the spring to see them not disperse too much, but they're going to hold up shop and they'll probably be there together all summer.